Hello Aries and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this reading we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of April in the areas of money, career, finance. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. We're going to start with your Rose Oracle card and for you the Rose Garden came up which is all about innocence, forgiveness and be gentle with yourself. So some of you need to kind of uh, turn to your uh, innocent side. Maybe uh, you've been kind of going through some kind of uh, battles with people or uh, maybe you've been hurt uh, and, and you need to kind of uh, take into consideration to forgive. Uh, and uh, you should really forgive uh, to let it go, to let it release out of your system, not necessarily to make the other person uh, feel better because you have here being gentle with yourself. Maybe some of you are kind of feeling that you're out in the world uh, in the cold and and and, and you know just uh, try to be uh, gentle with yourself. Don't uh, judge yourself too harshly. But let's see what is the tarot telling us for you. In the center of your reading you do have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is the energy of being very attractive, be being very radiant and also uh, looking things uh, from the positive side. She is somebody who's turned to the sun and, and from all of that energy she's gaining a lot of uh, positivity. She can get whatever she wants. She can get the job, she can get the project, the money, the business, anything she wants because she is uh, all about positivity uh, and she is radiant. Uh, she also doesn't care what the other people say or think about herself. So maybe for some of you, you've been kind of uh, harsh with yourself because you are uh, paying too much a attention to that. When, whenever you have the Queen of Wands, this is a very productive energy as well. You can uh, get a lot of things done. You are able to surprise everybody around you with your work ethic and, and everything you're able to uh, deliver. Let's see uh, the first card you, you have here. Your reading starts with the King of Swords. King of Swords is uh, somebody who is uh, very smart, very logical. She, he is somebody who cares about the tr truth and nothing but the truth. Uh, like, you know, he is somebody uh, who doesn't, who you, you cannot kind of mislead him because he's like so smart he's he's a uh, he's just uh, very logical he's a great communicator he speaks whatever is uh, in his mind so sometimes he can be a little bit rushed this can be somebody who works in like a judge or in law enforcement or or somebody in in that kind of a nature so for some of you maybe there's some kind of a truth uh, that kind of comes out whenever this card comes out truth is kind of uh, in this uh, in the focal point so maybe there has been some kind of a truth that's been uh, influencing your work your career your business you also have the king of cups king of cups is all about feelings leading from the heart uh, and balancing your hearts your feelings and your thoughts and he's very diplomatic he's somebody who uh, thinks before speaking and and you know he's very balanced he's somebody who can be uh, very stable even in the midst of the very stormy uh, situations so maybe you've been kind of going through some kind of uh, arguments or some kind of a changes where you are able to handle yourself this can be somebody who's like a healer uh, a negotiator uh, or or uh, somebody somebody who is working in the creative uh, fields as well. Next card we have here is the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is saying that, that you know, you're kind of in a situation where you don't see the way out of this. Uh, this is kind of like can be a work, a business, or just, a, you know, maybe if you're unemployed, you, are not, you don't know how to get out of it. Uh, as you can see, she is all bound and she doesn't see uh, what's out there how to get out of it but all these swords are representing her thoughts she can easily remove the blindfold she can easily remove those chains because those are just wrapping her uh, uh, self and it's not really um, locked what that really means that you need to clear your thoughts you need to clear the way you think because your the way you think is kind of keeping you in a prison 
and and your kind of mind is in overdrive whenever this card comes up and because because you're over analyzing things uh you 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 don't know how to move forward like i can kind of see here with the uh, uh, king of swords some of you are kind of uh, trying to listen to your logic 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 what are the facts and then you have the king of cups which is all about heart 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 feelings how do i feel about it so i i, I kind of see that some uh, somebody who is uh, really over analyzing kind of in an analysis paralysis maybe your heart is saying something and your mind is saying something else um but let's see uh what the next card is going to be you also have another court card the queen of swords queen of swords is somebody who is again very logical very smart she is all about clarity gaining clarity it's very hard to mislead her because she has been through a lot she is somebody uh, who's very experienced and sometimes she is protecting herself right so it's very interesting this dynamic duo of four people two couples uh, the swords and uh, the cups and the wands. Um, obviously, there must be some kind of a po power duo um, with the two swords energies, the king and the queen, uh, who are very smart, very outspoken, very logical. And then the, uh, with the two other, uh, the, with the queen of wands and the king of cups, you have somebody who's more of a gentle, um, somebody who's a kind of able to balance things better because you know the swords energies all of those uh, that couple they kind of burst out whatever they feel whatever they think and 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 they can be very harsh and the queen of wands is somebody who's kind of very like you know radiant likes new things likes uh, positivity so i think you have kind of a, like a, a a more positive energy and 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 and, and, and an energy of people that are like all about logic, all about facts and, and speaking their truth. And you also have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is first uh, and foremost all about financial stability. So some of you might be in a financially stable position. Some of you might be just watching uh, in terms of um, what uh, you're spending your money on. You're kind of maybe saving money for something. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, it may be that you know some of you are trying to hold on to something. Maybe there's an information that's being withheld that's kind of... Uh, you don't know about it and, and that's why you're kind of going back and forth in your mind uh, because somebody is withholding some kind of information. But you know, Four of Pentacles can be just also that, you know, you achieved a lot, you worked hard for something and you just uh, afraid you're going to lose it. Very important to manage this fear uh, approach because, uh, because if you keep focusing on fear, you're going to attract the Five of Pentacles, which is all about losing it. So again, uh, try not to overthink whatever your situation is. But let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most. For you, it is only costing a push of a button. So I hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons. And I'm always very excited to read in the comment how this reading is resonating with the reality. So. You have it here the Ten of Wands in the future outcome, the, uh, which is all about endings, right? Tens are uh, finishing a cycle. And, and, you know, this is also an indication that you are exhausted, you are overburdened, uh, definitely working hard, or you're just exhausted from some kind of a situation that you're in. Maybe there's some kind of an argument between these uh, four energies, four people. Ten of Wands is all about that you started something that was very exciting, that was very uh, passionate and now it, it, is, it is more of a burden. It can be a project, it can be a job, a work, a business of any sort. Uh, so you're definitely overburdened, you're working a lot. When this comes up, very important to think about how can you ease your workload? Are you able to delegate something? Are you able to get additional help? Because you don't want to kind of uh, burn yourself uh, out with the uh, Ten of Wands energy. But it is also indicating that the cycle is coming to an end, right? So whatever you're working on, you're very close finishing it. Uh, and, and you know, with all, all those ones are indicating all the hard work that you worked for, uh, all the results, and, and you're kind of bringing it home. So I think you're very close to bringing, bringing something home. And the next card we have here is the devil. Now the devil is 
generally uh, the card that comes up when there's something is uh, out of balance in your life. So in your work, there's something that's out of balance. And, and it is kind of uh, warning you to uh, pay attention to that. Maybe you're working too much, right? Like, because, you know, like a, uh, it, it is right connected to the Ten of Wands, which is all about working hard, overworking yourself. And, you know, a Queen of Wands who's able to get a lot of things done. And and it's with, with the devil, it can, may, might be kind of like an obsessive energy of something. When, when I could kind of see somebody who's workaholic and you're just going on and on and on and on. With a, with a negative cycle, because you know the devil is 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 a situation that's not good for you. The devil can be a toxic boss, a toxic work environment, but there's something in it that kind of draw keep uh, uh, drawing you in. Maybe you know you have great money. Maybe you're too kind of obsessed with financials, or because it's kind of connected to work. It's kind of and also connected to money. So. So there's something here uh, that that's kind of giving you some kind of a negative cycle. And again, you have both cards, the devil and the eight of swords that are kind of indicating that you're kind of feeling trapped. You're feeling uh, in a situation where you don't see the way out of it. So, so you need to kind of uh, analyze, uh, think about it. Uh, what is that keeps uh, drawing you into this situation? Maybe some of you, as I said, might be going through some repetitive cycle as well uh, with the devil energy. And you also have here the six of wands, which I'm very happy to see it because the six of wands is all is the card of victory, the call card of success and being in the center of attention. So I think whatever you're going through, whatever you're trying to get, whatever you're working for, you're going to be able to get it. If there's a new job, a promotion, a business that you're kind of trying to get, I think you're going to be able to get it. You're going to be able to accomplish it. Make sure that, you know, you pay attention to people that are surrounding you, people that might be jealous because, you know, with the devil energy, uh, you know, you have to kind of make sure that there's some kind of a shadow energy here um, that can be uh, taking you out of balance. Um, and, and I think it's, you know, it's very important that you need to be gentle with yourself, right? You have here this uh, be gentle with yourself, which kind of connects that to me for me, the Ten of Wands energy, which is all about uh, work, uh, overworking yourself. And you also have at the bottom of the deck, the Hermit, the Hermit, which is all about going in an inner journey to discover what is that makes you happy. What is uh, your true calling? What is that you really uh, want to achieve? And you're kind of going away from people to get the enlightenment that you need. So maybe some of you are withdrawing from work. Some of you are uh, kind of deciding to um, leave something for something better. Because, you know, like overall, uh, uh, you have uh, at the final outcome this Six of Wands winning energy. But this is a very difficult and very repetitive uh, cycle so you need to pay attention that you don't burn yourself out be gentle with yourself so that's all i have for you i hope that this reading helped you claim the energy of uh, the six of wands of, of of winning and don't forget to like share and subscribe